Good evening, everyone. It's lovely to be able to share this time of evening prayer with you. My name's Suzanne, and this prayer is coming to you from the terrace of Crowhurst Christian Healing Centre. I hope you can hear the bird song behind me. I'm sorry, the picture's a bit blurry today, but um, that's probably because I'm outside. And so as we come to uh, spend some time with the Lord, and reflect on our day, we read from Psalm 121. I lift up my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot slip. He who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. And so we pray, Lord, maker of heaven and earth, maker of the birds and the bird song, maker of the rabbits that are on the grass behind me, maker of the sun with its warmth and the trees with its green, the beauty of creation. Thank you for your steadfastness towards us. And as the psalm says, thank you for your watchfulness. Thank you that you have watched over us through this day. Thank you for your care of us and your mercy towards us. And as we reflect on our day, give us the eyes to see the care that you have taken of us, those moments of care, those moments of mercy that we might otherwise miss. And we turn to you, Lord, maker of heaven and earth, for our comfort and our help. And if there are particular areas of comfort or help that you need right now, then commit them to the Lord who knows, who sees, who cares, who watches, and doesn't sleep. Amen. And as we read in the psalm that we lift up our eyes to the mountains, but we acknowledge that our help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth, we read in James, but the wisdom that comes from heaven is first of all pure, then peace-loving, considerate, submissive, full of mercy and good fruit, impartial and sincere. So as you reflect on your day, as I reflect on my day, where have the moments of heavenly wisdom been in my day today? Where has the wisdom enabled me to be loving and considerate? Have I been on the receiving end of moments of heavenly wisdom from others and loving consideration from others? Or maybe my experience has been quite the opposite and been very negative. Whatever it has been, commit it to the Lord. Maybe there is purpose or learning in it, even where it has not been a good experience. Holy Spirit, we ask that you would grow in us more and more, that we may reflect heavenly wisdom to others. Amen. And so we commit to the Lord 
the cares of this day. We commit to the Lord the worries that loom ahead of us tomorrow and perhaps might interrupt our sleep tonight. And we commit to the Lord our loved ones. Maybe you want to just name each one and commit them to the Lord for the evening, for the night. And of course, ourselves. And a promise for this evening from the psalm that we read at the beginning. My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. So may your evening be full of peace, your night be full of sleep that is restful and refreshing. So God bless you. Amen. Oh,